Do you see that? It's like, <laughs> see it's like sticking straight off my head. It was like, hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, we have a story time. Don't ask me, oh, yes, I was gonna say, don't ask me how I thought of this. I'll tell you. No, I can't tell you, I don't know. Okay, fine, I will. <laughs> okay, so, I was getting my hair washed, because I was getting it cut the other day, and I swear, it was like she did not want to scratch down the center of my head, down the crown of my hair when she was like washing it. And she wasn't like scratching it. She was just like, like kind of like rubbing. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I need you to like scratch my hair. And it was kind of driving me crazy, but it was fine. I was enjoying the process, but it reminded me of a story. So I went to beauty school and in beauty school, you get all types of people coming in. They're there for cheap, cheap haircuts. They know it's going to be a crap show, possibly. I think it was pretty good. Um, anyway, so this guy comes in. He either had just come back from camping or like a long trip in Alaska where he was like fishing for a month and didn't have a chance to shower. So this is just like the state that this man was in. I don't care, like I literally don't care. You're here for me to clean you up, that's my job. I prefer a grungy before because it makes the after look better, okay? So that's just kind of the thought process that I was, that was going on in the moment. So he's huge. He is like over six feet tall, the beefiest, biggest guy I've ever seen. Not like muscular big, but just like husky, like big, like he was just big. His head was just like, the circumference of his head was just like enormous. Anyway, okay, so you get the picture of his physique. He sits down and he was just like, I just want my head washed. I was like, deal, I can do that. I'm like the best head washer that ever walked this beauty school. So I take him back there, I put a cape on him. Oh, I wish I could like, I wish I could like vlog the process, like as is <laughs> The thought of it just like kills me, okay. So I will take him back to the sink, lay him back. He's comfortable, I'm ready to like wash the fish out of this guy's hair. I'm assuming he was fishing in Alaska. Probably not, but we're gonna pretend that that's, I mean that was like the aroma, like it was just, you know, I have to put this on a tripod here for a second. In order for you to get the idea, I have to show you the movement. So let me move my tripod down. Okay, I think we're here. Okay, so he's, let's say he's here. Yeah, 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 this is good, okay. His head is here. You know, I rinse his hair with some nice warm water and then I'm like washing it. Okay, this feels good, I'm like, get in the back of his neck because the importance of like massage, I mean that's like, I mean that's like a big part of like what we're doing, okay? So I'm like, when I'm like washing the sides of his head, I'm not just like, oh okay, let's just like wash. No, I'm like massaging the temples. I'm like, I'm like giving him a nice head massage. Okay, now I have to tell you what I was wearing. <laughs> I have to tell you what I was wearing. So I was wearing a cape. Like it, um, so like when I would move my arms, it was like lots of excess material. So if I was to do this, there would be flapping, there would be wings. This is very important to the rest of the story. Okay, so back to where we are. So he's like washing his head and I think I'm doing a really good job. And he said, harder. I was like, oh, okay. So I get some more shampoo in my hands and I'm, Wanted to lather this up. Now, there's not very much hair. I did not say that. There's like hardly any hair anywhere, like maybe along the sides, and it's about this long, so it's like pretty scraggly just around here. That doesn't matter. I don't care. That's just what it was. I'm like washing his head here. Oh. Just move on with the story. So I'm washing his, man, no, I can't even say it. We're, we're, we're adults here. I'm washing his head. Oh, I can't even say it, okay. And 
and he wants, oh shoot, this is getting worse as I say it out loud. He says, oh. Harder. I'm like, okay. But he's like tall, so it's like, I'm kind of like up on my tippy toes, like kind of leaning over like this. Start washing his hair some more, and he was like, oh yeah. I was like, oh, okay. So then he was like, more, like, come on, like, you gotta wash. Who has the audacity to be like, Harder. <laughs> I needed to have those guts the other day when I was getting my hair washed. Okay, so then I'm like, oh my gosh. And I, and I felt uncomfortable because he was like older. I was super young. I was in like, I was in training. I've got my teachers around. So I'm like just trying to do a good job here. Anyway, so I start like, I mean, I start like moving my arms and my cape is like flapping. And it was this whole like situation like, and he was like grunting and I'm like flapping my arms and there's like suds flapping everywhere and he was just like oh yeah and he, you know I'm rinsing it and water splattering everywhere and he was oh, this is good. and I swear it was like this whole like experience and and when we were finished it was like I got done and I it's a little out of breath <laughs> What was happening was weird. Do you know what I mean? Like, I didn't think, oh, people are looking at me. No, no, no. I was zoned in. This man was going to get the massage of his life. His head was going to be as clean as he'd ever had it. And <laughs> so, in the midst of the flapping of my cape and the scrubbing of this man's head and the rinsing and the splattering, we get done. Like, my arms are soaked, my sleeves are soaked. I get done, I was out of breath. I was on my tippy toes, hunching over this man. And <laughs> he sits up and I dry him, drying his head, and I realize, I come back to where I am, reality. And I'm looking around and I was just like, oh. <laughs> everyone was looking at me, my instructors, my peers, and everyone was just like, what did we just see? And I, I kept my composure, but thinking back on it, that was the most bizarre thing I've ever gone through. I don't think I got even tipped. It's fine, I wasn't there for tips, it was fine. But, that was just crazy. Even thinking back on it now, it was like, how did I even go through that? And so as I was thinking about this, when I was getting my hair washed, I just like closed my eyes and just was just trying, you know, you know when you're in public or like you look at someone and it's like, okay, something's happening. There was nobody there, it was just me. I was having this like connection with myself, like, oh, this is hilarious, I can't wait to tell somebody. And then I was like, I'm doing a story time. I am doing a story time. This story has to be shared with the world. Anyway, I don't get too embarrassed. I mostly just think everything is hilarious. This is like the weirdest angle. Okay, let me just like grab the camera. I don't get embarrassed. I just think everything is hilarious. I just think everything is funny and I can't wait to tell it to someone. And so YouTube is actually pretty ideal for me because I get to share these like story times with you guys and I have someone to tell them to and I don't know if people enjoy them or not. I pretend that people enjoy these videos. So if you did, if you felt the embarrassment slash just a funny situation for me, like secondhand, you know what I mean? Go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Come to my Instagram and let's talk about funny things that have happened on, I'll make a post. Come and let's have a conversation since comments are off on YouTube for my channel. And uh, let's have a good time, okay? Okay, okay. I'm out of breath. Joel, I'm out of breath telling that story. Just like when you did the story. Just like when I did the story. P.S. There is a playlist in the description with along with other story time videos I've done, so go ahead and check them out. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.